Finally this evening, the mob is back, or still here, which seems more likely. There's been a reasonably widespread notion here in the East, at least, that the Mafia has not been involved in the construction business for quite some time. And then today, 38 people and 11 companies were indicted on corruption charges. Members of the Mafia allegedly, union leaders, construction officials. And how do we know what they were doing? ABC's John Miller has been talking to the guy who helped to catch them. This is a story about business, the mob, and its muscle. The building boom of the 90s in New York and New Jersey attracted contractors from as far away as Chicago and Texas. But today, prosecutors charged almost all of them had to pay the mob. Sean Richards should know. He used to collect for the mob. You can be talking anywhere from 5 to 10 percent of a, a, a $5 million to $100 million contract. Richards would be very comfortable in an episode of The Sopranos. He married the boss's daughter in the real-life crime family that inspired the series. But when investigators began closing in, Richards secretly began working for the law, taping his conversations about construction rackets. It took a while for the mob bosses to figure out that Sean Richards had defected and was cooperating with prosecutors, and when they did, a contract was taken out on his life. At a hideout far from New York, Richards told us he and other mobsters ran construction companies that could underbid any legitimate competitors by using non-union labor and bribing union officials to look the other way. Listen, you always hope they took the money. You know, violence was always a last resort, but there were times when you would say, well, if this guy doesn't take the money, I'm gonna, it's either he's going to take the money or he's going to get a beat. You know, fortunately, most people were greedy enough to take the money. And how hard was it to get union officials to take the money? What happens is if you can't get to the if you can't get to the, the, the president of the local, you get to a delegate. If you can't get to a delegate, you get to the shop steward on the job. I corrupted him as easy as feeding uh, elephants in the zoo peanuts. Today's 38 arrests may put a crimp in the mob's influence, but as long as the money is there, investigators are sure the mob will not be far behind. John Miller, ABC News. New York. Authorities say this is the face of the mob, reputed gangsters and corrupt union leaders who allegedly siphon millions of dollars from public and private, as well as public construction projects throughout the city. Organized crime has had its tentacles in the construction industry in New York for, for a long time. Uh, and despite uh, law enforcement successes over the years, today's indictment demonstrates that the fight against organized crime is far from over. 38 men, including Stephen Crea, alleged acting boss of the Lucchese crime family, and the heads of the Carpenters and Bricklayers unions were hit with a 57-count indictment. Prosecutors charged they bribed contractors who were supposed to use union workers at union pay and got them to use non-union workers at low pay. Then they billed public agencies and private developers as if they complied with the law. The projects included work on the Queensboro entry Triborough Bridges and three schools. Investigators say corrupt contractors imposed a so-called mob tax and employed made members of the Lucchese crime family as no-show, no-work employees. A no-show job means that the employee doesn't have to appear on site but gets paid anyway. And no-work means that the employee doesn't necessarily have to do any work but gets paid anyway. Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick says the investigation spanned three years. And I think it sends a clear message to the construction industry that we're not going to tolerate criminal activity, the influence of organized crime, and, uh, and I think it sends a pretty good message to the, the legitimate uh, construction people out there uh, that want to compete in the bidding process, that want to compete in different projects. Um, somebody there looking out for your interests as well. The defendants are all due back in court September 27th. In Manhattan, Adele Samarco, New York 1.